Welcome to this microlearning session by Nurse and Education Network. This presentation is on peer assisted learning. Key focus for this presentation is to provide an overview of peer assisted learning. So looking into the education theory, the benefits and limitations of peer assisted learning and provide some of the key readings around the topic. So what is peer assisted learning? So the premise is it's people from similar social groupings or standings, such as same year level in a university setting. And the key thing is they're not professional teachers and they're helping each other to learn and learning themselves by reinforcing content. So this is defined as a two way reciprocal learning activity. And off the adage that to teach is to learn twice. So everything around peer assisted learning is the relates to the social learning theory of Wenger and Bandura, learning off our colleagues, our peers and developing, learning the, what they call the hidden curriculum elements as well, what occurs in the workplace or in the university setting in our healthcare training. So looking through the literature on regards to the benefits of peer assisted learning for the learner, there's increased knowledge, increased psychomotor skills. So often the literature, the evidence is looking at um, a task training and utilizing this peer to peer or what they call a peer to near peer. So the peer to peer would be a same year level student near to peer would be say a third year student teaching the first year. Through this, using peers or near peers, there's more likely to be communication, admitting that they may be struggling on certain elements. Also, students are going through this experience. So often they're comparing in the literature, the peer to the support provision by a tutor or a lecturer. And through this, there's evidence for more emotional support. The students learn this hidden curriculum. What's the unwritten components in healthcare training, nursing, allied health or medical training. And it levels the hierarchy element from there. So again, these are some of these key things used utilizing peers. For the teacher role, that could be the the, the first, as I say, this similar year sentence or say a third year teaching a first year for that tutor or teacher role, it reinforces and it's a revision of learned knowledge. It improves their teaching skills. Some professions have teaching as a requirement as part of their core training element in, when they go into clinical practice, such as medicine. But these are key things if we think in terms of nursing, especially, we often tutors, preceptors. So teaching skills and providing improved feedback skills are essential as we develop in our nursing or healthcare career. Again, the improved communication skills, increased knowledge and increased confidence. And it gives the tutor or teacher role increased responsibility as well. So looking at peer assisted limitations across the literature, some studies have found that some peer assisted learning programs have found no benefit in terms of knowledge development or skill development or confidence post the in introduction of a PAL program. Some of the literature may have found no benefit for the learner but actually finds a benefit for the tutor or teacher role. So this places more of an emphasis on the power of reinforcement, that returning back to past knowledge and running through testing past knowledge and developing and reinforcing that learning. On an overall view of peer assisted learning in the literature, it is across healthcare professions. So there's evidence in paramedicine, nursing, allied health, medicine, but it's predominantly pre-qualification. So in the higher education setting. So that is a very different environment if we were looking at peer assisted learning in the workplace. And so further research is needed to look at the impact and efficacy of peer assisted learning 
in the clinical environment. Here are some of the key references for peer assisted learning. Thank you. Please visit us at Nursing Education Network blog for more nursing and healthcare education theory.